Hi everyone, tonight we will do it. Um, <laughs> I don't remember how to say it in English. Uh, anyways, we will do that is to cover our neck. <laughs> it's not a infinity scarf, it's <laughs> in French is cash I will I will remember it during the video. So we will use the Bernat Peep Squeak stripe. It's a very soft yarn. All you need to do is to be very gentle on your machine when you do with this yarn. So we will start. So to cast our machine, we will put the counter to zero and we will start with the first black and we go in front and the back for the first row just like this. This yarn is very, very soft. I put that in the yarn guide. Uh, for With this yarn, you will need to be very, very careful with your machine when you do the stitches to make sure that it, it grab all the, the yarn like it's supposed to do. Don't put any tension on your yarn, but keep a close eye on it. Don't go too fast. Because it's not easy to grab the stitches when they they, uh, they drop with this yarn. So really, really slow. Be careful. Pull a little bit of yarn. So that we won't do any tension on the machine. I really like this yarn. The color change is, is very nice. You have to be careful because if you go too fast to get some knot in it. So we continue like this. You will notice that the this side getting very very soft and the other side you will see the stitches it's like like the yarn divided by itself on the machine it's, it's very cute so you could see the color change start with blue uh, yellow and now with the uh, little pink it's gonna be very soft and cute Hi. When you get to this point, when you your project touching the table, you grab it like this and you turn it like a turtleneck, and it will make a little bit of tension on your stitches around, so it will help to keep the project on the machine. No drop stitch. Stitch. Almost finished, only another row to, to be to get 90 row. We get the 90 row. Time. We are now reached the 90 row, so we will cut our yarn. Click. And with the yarn needle, we will go and get stitch by stitch remove the project from the machine. So we remove all the stitches one by one with the yarn needle.
so we will stretch it like this to make sure that we can pass through our head and when we stretch it enough we need to cut the yarn a little bit because it's a little bit too long but it was good to have a long tail because that way it's easier to stretch it like this So I will do with my yarn needle, I will do a knot. Oops. We'll carry the yarn here and put it inside like this. It's tight. And now we will eye the little tail of yarn. Usually we go inside. But with this yarn, I decide to go outside like this because you won't see it anyways because the yarn is so fluffy and very, uh, very soft. See? Only a little bit to hide again. There. Stretch it and voila, you got it, you're done. You got your product ready to wear for cold day. So you could wear it like this or turn the other side like this but personally I like this to be inside because it's very soft so see you next Monday just to let you know that I use this yarn to do a smaller one for my little one and I did like 60 row and the one I just did was 90 row and I still have some yarn so just to let you know that you could make more than one in one ball of yarn.